If you guys are lazy and like you're in bed watching this video right now, you guys are not going to be productive like that. So you need to get out of bed. If it's hard for you to get out of bed, at least stand up or just like sit up on your bed. And while you're listening to this, stand up or like sit on a chair, sit on your bed and grab a notebook because we're about to get productive. Okay, so as I was saying, scheduling. This is so important because as someone who is like really lazy and was a retired, retired baddie, person, scheduling was actually something that really helped me. I, I remember I hated doing those things like to-do lists or schedules because it felt like, oh, like this is like so annoying. Like these aren't even important tasks, but like they are. So like, I don't know. I just didn't like them before, but then the more that I did it, it actually helped me so much. Like the, f the first time I started doing it was I would text my sister and I would be like, I would type out everything that I need to do. And then like, even though it would get lost in our conversation, cause we text a lot, I, it still was in the back of my mind and like, I, I would go back to it. So do whatever it takes to finish your tasks. And for me, scheduling was the, the best thing and like doing to-do lists. And so when you write down all of the things that you need to do, like let's say for me, it was like getting my videos done, like filming videos, going to the gym, uh, like running errands and I, when you're running errands, you need to write down everything, every little thing that you have to do because guys, just trust me, it helps. So like I would say grocery shop and then like in a bracket, I would be like buy this, 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 this. And then the next one would be um, like returning stuff like Sephora or just like dropping off packages and you'd have to be really specific with it or else it's not ever going to happen. After writing out that entire list, you would see which one is like the most important and then you would reorder it. You want to do it in the fastest and efficient way. So yeah. And then after that, putting a time limit on everything. So you need a deadline. That's a big part. So for me, when I run errands or have to do like a bunch of things on that day, I don't like to spend like the entire day doing it. Like that's not efficient. That's just like, you're gonna get burnt out. You're not gonna, you're not gonna feel like you're living out your life. You're gonna feel like you just have to like get stuff done and it's like not fun. But also, wait, another thing, sorry, this is like kind of like off topic. I would make time to do my makeup. Okay. As a girl and as someone who just like wants to feel good while doing everything, when I go out and I feel pretty, that's like, that's enough for me to just have a good day. Another point was, which kind of ties in with deadlines is if it takes under two minutes, well, in the book it said five minutes, but I think five minutes is kind of pushing it. If it takes under two minutes, you have to just, guys, just do it. Just do it. I, I'm still working on this because I feel like for me, it would kind of be the opposite. Like if it just took two minutes, I would just do it at the end of the day. But like, you don't want to like kill yourself over it. Like you don't want, you don't want it just in the back of your mind forever for the entire day because you guys just like, it just will not be done. Like you're just never going to do it. Like this is coming from experience. I'm trying to remember some more things. Um, this is a perfect example of not writing down or doing to-do lists because you're just gonna waste time and not know what to do. This is a really, really big one, coffee. I am someone that needs coffee. Like if I don't have coffee, I can't, I will stay in bed forever. I'm not even joking. Okay, ready? Ready, you're not ready. Action over motivation. Motivation will not get you anywhere. Okay. Actually, I'll take that back. Once again, action over motivation. So motivation is just something that kind of gets you going in that moment. But what was said in the book was if it's like learn, 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 you will never get out of bed. Like you will just never finish your task. If you just do that one little thing, it will get you to do more things. So let's just say, for example, let's say I grab coffee. That coffee is action. 
my day will be completely different if I didn't grab that coffee because there was no action. I was just in bed scrolling and just on my phone. So I guess that's that's kind of like a bad, I don't know if that was a good example. But. So it was, in the book, it was like learn, 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 and no action, but action, learn, action, learn, action. It will be like, it should be in that order, not learn, 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 because too much learning will just make you not complete anything and it will just, it will just overwhelm you with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it will overwhelm you. This is me talking about myself. You get like real, like overwhelmed really easily. So try not to take in too many things at once. Just take it one by one. And then also another thing I'm like remembering, like honestly, this is the most I've ever remembered from a book because it was so helpful. I'm gonna have to look for the title cause like I'm gonna reread this. Don't multitask. That was the big one. I cannot multitask. And if I do multitask, I will mess up so bad. And when I say I mess up, like I would just be so disappointed with myself. And then I would be like going through that spiral of like negative thinking and be like, oh, like I'm not good enough. Like, oh my gosh, like why did you do this? Like it was such a small task. Like, like you couldn't even do that. Just try to, just try to do one thing at a time, guys. Don't multitask. That's, I mean, if you guys can multitask, you can do it. But if you're just like starting this journey of being productive and just like being more confident in yourself, just do one thing at a time, at a time. And I think, I think that was everything from the points that I took from that book. That's how I stay productive and get all of my tasks done. So I hope this video helped you guys. And if you guys want more videos like this, this isn't my usual content, but if you guys want more like this, I am so happy to help you guys. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that whatever. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm hungry. Bye.